does in this intimate, bridal kind of relationship, but also it is a personal love call. It is God loves me, and he calls me to this intimate relationship. And the way that we respond is through prayer. That's the primary way that we respond back, is through prayer. Now there's all kinds of prayer techniques that you can do. There's contemplative prayer, there's meditative prayer, there is Lexio Divina, which is, an, which is probably the most ancient way of how the monastic tradition has studied the scriptures. It is a way of reading the scriptures and hearing God speak back to us in a prayerful manner. It is really quite, it's an old tradition, goes way back in the church, and it is a, it is a beautiful meditation. If you really want to get intimate with God, it's a, it is a great way to do it. It is called the ladder to heaven, the Lexio Divina. It's called the ladder to heaven. And I would say a great book to begin with is Praying for a Change by Tim Gray. Praying for a Change. Uh, yes. Chief, but uh, also Paul says in Romans 12, 1, he sends our body to sacrifice. That's also another way to pray for a sacrifice. Yes. Yes. It is by giving yourself through love as a sacrifice back to him, which is what Jesus did. It's being nothing less than what Jesus did. The more that we are transformed by love, the more we conform to what Jesus did. And that's exactly what Paul is talking about. Offering our bodies as a spiritual sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him. The more we are purified, the more we are going to be like Jesus. And in doing so, our whole lives become this spiritual sacrifice of prayer. Back to God. So let me just show you this. It's short, it's good, it gets you right into the, if I can slow up the image, there we go, praying scripture for a change. And the subtitle is An Introduction to Lexio Divina by Tim Gray. This is probably the best book I've ever read to get you into the um, habit or the uh, experience, really, of Lectio Divina. It's called Praying Scripture for a Change. It's by Tim Gray. I'm sorry? Is that the one by Mel Gibson, The Passion of the Christ? No, no, this isn't a movie, dear. This is a book. It's a book. And it's about how to do the practice of Lectio Divina. And the last name is? Tim Gray. Excellent. He is the president of the Augustine Institute in Denver, Colorado. Okay. Excellent Bible teacher. Very well learned. Uh, I can't, uh, there are several other books I've gotten on Lectio Divina, but I would say this is the best that I've read so far. It, because it's very, it's, it's not that very long, and it's very uh, concise, and it takes you into the practice of Lectio Divina. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about this relationship, this intimacy that we have with God. And the way that that's going to happen is if we pray. And this is one of many ways to do it. It's not the only way, but it's one of many. And it's a very ancient Christian spiritual practice, and I would highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And this is a good book to begin to get an introduction to it. So I will keep it and I will come back to it. So um, let us move on. Tonight we're going to focus on the Song of Songs, Chapter 2. I hope you all have done your homework. Remember, 
your homework was to read all of the second chapter and to do the study questions at the back. There were four for understanding and four for application. What I want to do at this point is I want to have us do our table talk. And I want you to focus on the questions for application from chapter two. In your group, I want, I'm gonna give you about 30 minutes to talk about how you went through these verses. And interestingly enough, the verses that they list here pretty much is what we covered last week. We didn't quite finish all of chapter two, but we got pretty darn close. So the for application should give you uh, some insights as to what you got out of it. So like I said, I'm going to give you about 30 minutes. Talk amongst yourselves. Share amongst yourselves what you learned. And then we're going to share out table by table by table. All right?